and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail Karmalim bringing to you the solution news across the globe. A recent report by the United Nations Office for Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, highlighted the urgency of preparing the population for the coming harsh Ukrainian winter. So as so many buildings have been damaged, including more than 2,000 school facilities, of which 285 have been completely destroyed. That is why on the Salesian side, together with other international partners, a forward-looking program is about to start aiming to prepare the population for the arrival of the winter season and to support children who have not seen their schools reopen. The six-month project is funded by the Italian Agency for Development Cooperation to AICS and implemented by the NGO Voluntariato Internationale per lo Sviluppo VIS in three areas of the country, Lviv, Zaitomir and Ivankiv, the later part of the Kiev region. These areas are home to the bulk of the more than 6.28 million internally displaced persons. The project aims to address these needs and will seek to support the vulnerable population until the end of 2022 via multi-sectoral intervention. A mobile unit will travel to 12 villages to provide psychosocial support. 1,000 hot meals per day will be distributed in Lviv and Zaitomir province, thanks in part to synergy with the Department of Civil Defence, which has provided four field kitchens. In anticipation of the coming of winter, efforts will also be made to help people restore their destroyed housing through the distribution of kits for small and medium emergency repairs of houses, particularly in Ivankiv province, where 2,360 homes have been suffered damage. To these people, blankets, winter clothes, stoves and fuel will also be donated. The meeting of provincial delegates for youth ministry of the two Salesian regions of America, Inter-America and South Coast America, was held from October 15 to 21st, led by Father Miguel Angel Garcia Morcunde, General Counselor for Youth Ministry, and Father Rafael Bejarano, member of the Youth Ministry Department. The meeting began with a lecture divina on the gospel text of Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. Afterwards, some main themes for reflection were proposed. First, the presentation of the content of the text, A Pastoral Care That Educates to Love, a text that will soon be published in several languages. Delegates pause to examine several educational criteria that foster the personal growth of young people in something as important as the development of these individual areas in a healthy way. Secondly, the document, Vocational Animation Inspiring Principle and Horizon of Youth Ministry was addressed. On October 19, the Salesian community of Kurumba celebrated the Communal Salesian Day and Thanksgiving for the canonization of St. Artemide Zati. The Eucharist was presided over by Bishop Joa Aparecido, Bergamasco, Bishop of the Diocese of Kurumba, and was concelebrated by, among others, Father Joa Neto, SDP, representing the Salesian family. In a shrine of Mary Help of Christians, crowded with collaborators, students, alumni and lay collaborators of the Station Mission, Father Joa Neto said in his homily that to love as Jesus teaches, one must behave like the Good Samaritan. The Salesian also aligned the Gospel reading with the life of Saint Zati, who starting with his recovery from tuberculosis, began serving God by helping the sick with love and tenderness as a form of gratitude. Saint Artemide Zati was the Salesian who, because of his illness, discovered the great value of his vacation. His life and vacation speak to us of the great value of consecration in religious life. We are Salesians of Don Bosco and we live an evangelical way of life in the service of the little ones and the poor, he said. At the end of the celebration, the statue of the Hel Mary Help of Christians was honoured with songs and the traditional crowning, which involved children, youth and adults. On October 22nd, the Salesians of the Belgium North and Holland province met at the St. Francis de Sales community in Amsterdam to celebrate a moment of Salesian fellowship and fraternity. The meeting began with a Eucharistic celebration presided over by Father Wilfred Van Beke, B. and Provincial, who in his homely extended an invitation to pray for one to another, especially for the Salesians, who could not be present, as well as for the faithful entrusted to the care of the Salesians and the youth. He also offered an image of St. Artemide Zati as an encouragement for everyone to live a life of prayer, service and faithful commitment to the poorest. Then quoting St. Francis de Sales, he concluded, Holiness is not reserved for special people with special functions, but is attainable by anyone who feels called to a life of service to God through service to people. 
The annual meeting of the provincials of the Inter-America region was held in Lima, Peru and was attended by provincials from 13 provinces, Bolivia, Peru, Colombia, Medellin, Colombia, Bogota, Antilles, Central America, Haiti, Ecuador, United States East, United States West, Mexico, 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 Guadalajara and Venezuela. This fraternal meeting was held by Father Hugo Orozco, Councillor of the Inter-American Region, and focused mainly on three objectives. To foster a space for accompanying, listening and strengthening the service provided by the provincials, to reflect on the formation of the provincials, offering them the opportunity to share some current issues oriented to the congregation, and to organize and plan the next regional meetings. On this occasion, in a special way, they work in preparation for the visitation of togetherness that will take place in Peru between March and April next year. Another theme developed with great attention was that related to the challenges that vacation animation poses to all the provinces of the region. So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.